I'm riding the motorcycle. Seeing this? Looks like a hell of a resort. A cartel only resort. Let's go scare off some rich folk, fuck with the cartel's tourism, and get Carzita's ass back to Agua Verde. Deploying drone. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. Got another tango. Got the target. He's down. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. The drone's fucked up. They're jamming us. Copy. Target marked. The signal's all bad. They're jamming the drone. That's one down. Only one way you're walking away from this alive. Just come down. We've got an opportunity here to hurt the cartel and help the rebels at the same time. We steal the plane, take it to a friendly airstrip, and let Qatari's people know where to find it. Good to go, boss. Just say the word. Governor from Argentina in town, visiting the resort for a piece of trim. If we get a recording of those two bumping uglies and blackmail them, that might be enough to get the rest of the VIPs to leave. There's a high-profile politician who's using Carzita's resort to hide his flings with local escorts. Get close to this asshole and record his next little fling. We'll post it all over social media and embarrass him and Fuck the cartel up, both.
Bowman. We're in Tabacal province. What can you tell us? Tabacal was once a major coffee producer, but over the last few years, Santa Blanca has forced the coffee growers to become cocoleros instead, growing leaf exclusively for the cartel. Who's our target? A cartel boss named Madra Coca. The cocoleros are terrified of her. Take a look at the video I just sent and you'll understand why. She runs Tabacal like her own mini cartel. Production of coca leaf, distribution by truck and train, and enough security to keep the cocoleros in line and the convoy secure. All of it run with ruthless efficiency. I'm in contact with a small group of rebels. They're willing to help us fight the cartel if we can prove our good intentions. You got any suggestions? Two things you can do to earn their trust. First, an old cocolero named Chavez has been trying to get the farmers to stand up to the cartel. Word is he's giving a speech to the cocoleros at the agricultural cooperative. Make contact with him there and keep him safe. What else? Supposedly, the cartel collects their coca in this province from a single farm. Ambush the cartel when they come for the coca. That should send a message to the cocoleros and disrupt Madra Coca's production. This is DJ Perico coming back from a non-stop block of tunes. That last track brought me back, but those I was remembering this time me and my boy Hot. Sniper out there. We got a couple of narcos by the camp entrance. Eyes on the target. Ruperto Faro, Madre Coca. They used to grow coffee here in Tabacal. But the cartels made them switch to coca. A lot more profitable. If you ever tried to snort Italian roast, you'll know why. Spoiler alert, this is frowned upon at coffee shops. Don't ask. Madra Coca grew up as a raspuccina, a coca picker. When it comes to illegal coca farms, there's no such thing as child labor laws. It was brutal, backbreaking work. She had a son whom she'd always dream would move on to better things. He didn't. Young Pablo died from a coke overdose. How does a mother who grows coca deal with growing the product that killed her own kid? Most people see the error of their ways and move on to something else. For Madra Coca, it was the exact opposite. She took out her anger on the people of Tabacal, forcing them to endure the same hardship she had experienced. And like any tyrant, she expanded her empire. This led to resentment from the people, which she dealt with. With the backing of El Yeyo, she became a very powerful woman in the cartel. A new twist on an age-old lesson. You don't fuck with Mama. He's dead. And our fucking 501s, and I thought Yo, cartel gunman, sticking close to that Santa Blanca pickup. Target's marked. Good to go. Target marked. Got the target. Ready to engage. Open fire. That was fucking close. I see a second target. I got a third target. Hostile down. The drone is up. Tango number three. I've got 
the target. Targets confirmed. Ready to assault. Eyes on the target. Kill confirmed. This pinpoints one of the Sicario leaders for us. Let's use him to spread some anxiety. Roger that. Target marked. That tango's down. Bad guys in the Keep area. quiet. We get caught, our days is peeping toms are over. What? But what do you want me to do? Are lo que quieras. Talk dirty, pero muy sucio. Sure thing, papacito. Have you been a bad boy? Estás que te All right, we're good. <laughs> so bad. No one knows how bad you've been. You need to be punished. I do. Me encanta que me castigue. Or something. Soy bueno en eso, nena. Something big, I bet. Grande, como tú. <laughs> no, it was small. Como ves, no como yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. How small? Huh? I stole a cat's leg. You, you stole a... ¿En serio? This cat, it had a wooden leg. And I stole it. Uh, bueno, ¿qué más?